So, right there is where I met my hobo friend. I uh, exited the stairs, went all the way down, instead of going through that door. My mistake. <laughs> I do find this car really funny that when I, I type in my direction I'm going to in Waze, which is connected to the car, and it starts playing chip tunes. I don't touch anything, it just starts playing chip tunes. It's pretty funny. Stop! How'd we do? I'm so sorry. This is... Oh, I got nothing. I, you gotta hit though. <laughs> First day in Philadelphia starts off with getting hit by a car. Come on. Uh, this is a trip. I don't know how I feel. <laughs> Welcome to New Jersey. With a string of broken business ventures and the support of a former clan leader, we can't decide whether or not to. I was talking with people today, and it is scary to think that we live in a world where we are going to have an election where no one likes any of the candidates. <laughs> there is no candidate I like. There is no candidate I agree with on five or more topics. I just... <sighs> crazy. And she said, full business suite is downstairs on the third floor, so I'm gonna go there because I need a printer and fax machine. So I got a nice little sampling of food here from the lounge, the executive lounge is right next door. We're gonna see how this goes tonight. This might be way too loud and I hope not, but um, anyway, what do I wanna talk about today? I smuggled in three knives past the TSA. Realistically, they were all legal. Okay, so I took three knives on my carry-on on travel this year, or this, this one trip. Let's walk through each one of them individually. What the heck got on this guy? First one is the Leatherman Style CS. This has basically four tools. It has a very nice rasp file, whatever you want to call it, uh, a little anemic blade, and out of the best, the best thing in the entire group is the scissors. This, these are the best scissors out of all three knives. There's also a pair of really bad tweezers, like like pathetically bad, like the worst tweezers that I've ever used, and a bottle opener with a little carabiner action. The Mini Champ, Swiss Army Mini Champ, which has just a ton of tools. It has a decent file, it has what's called a cuticle pusher, I call it the Coke Spoon, because I think it's hilarious. It's got like a Warncliffe knife, it's got a package opener slash line cutter knife, pair of scissors, one of the best features on this, Phillips head screwdriver with bottle opener, and then the regular kind of mini Swiss Army blade, which you're all familiar with. And then the last one is the Spyderco Rody, which I've talked about in the past. This is a great little knife. This is the largest, most robust blade. These are all slip joint knives, so they're legal. And the reason they're legal is because the blade, the blade is less than two inches long and less than a quarter inches wide making it legal for TSA. If I had my choice, these would be the two knives I would carry, the Mini Champ and the Rody. I love the Rody. I like the semi full-size blade that you got full when I say full size. It's a workable blade. It feels like it's much bigger than it actually is. And then you've got the, the Mini Champ with just the wealth of tools. I'm going to swap this Leatherman CS out probably for a squirt in sometime in the future, and a particularly the electrician one, because it has a little bitty 
plier piece and then it's got a ton of line uh, wire strippers which having wire strippers on you is actually more useful to me than a wrench. I end up stripping more wires than I use a wrench. So big points, shout out, love the roadie. This thing's really cool actually. This has kind of become my, my casual EDC knife. Simplicity, you can't get any more dead simple than that. Pizza tonight, pizza tonight. Nice little, uh, hold on, let me get this. Nice little leftovers, I got a fridge, so, boom. Okay guys, gotta do a light day today, I apologize for that. So, question of the day, do you like your Philly cheesesteak with whip or with without? If you know what that means, post a comment below. We'll talk to you tomorrow.